All right, welcome back to Central Valley Buzz, everybody. I'm your host, Chuck Leonard. It's Thursday, and it's time to go to Old Town Mariposa with my buddy Bob Borchard from Bet's Gold Coin. Bob, how's it going? It's going fun. Who are you? Oh, come on now. Oh, no, no. Uh, Chuck usually has a, a funny tie, a really... Well, first, off, first of all, I'll say that it's very hot outside. Hot. And funny tie, I take, a, I, 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 I got to say, I take a lot of pride in my ties, Bob. Oh, all right. But you don't uh, have let, a... Let's dirt. stop all this nonsense. Who'd you bring with you today? I brought, I brought an old friend of mine. Of course, I have a lot of old friends. She's a young This friend. one's not as old as most of them, but Kara. The last one. Kara Goger. Kara, hello, Chuck. Nice to nice meet to you. Meet thanks, you. For, thanks for coming in. Yeah. Kara is the executive director of the Mariposa County Arts Council, and you've been hearing a lot about the Arts Council over the last few months. i got to maybe introduce this in, in a, a little bit. Uh, Mariposa County has a, a high concentration of artists, and, and it's probably because of Yosemite, the attractiveness of Yosemite. And we have a very active Arts Council in Mariposa County. And uh, you've, you've seen, you've met Les, uh, Mr. Marvin, our conductor, a couple of times. You've, uh, you've met Ronnie with our music on the Green Show. Uh, actually, you uh, got involved with our, our uh, storytelling uh, festival. Right, right. We have a lot of things going on, but I thought I would bring, I'd bring the source today. <laughs> Kara is the uh, inspiration behind uh, what's going on with uh, with our arts council and our art program, and uh, there's a re you know we can talk about programs and activities, but there's a there's a real economic when you element to it, and uh, and I'm hoping that maybe Kara can touch on that a little bit. We have all right. Well, hey, well first off, congratulations on a good gig. Thank you, executive director director of the Mariposa Arts Council. Yeah. That's a good job. How did you land that? Uh, my the person before me retired and I was in San Diego and heard that it was a chance to return to Mariposa where I grew up and jumped on it so awesome so yeah. you grew up in Mariposa left went to, to San Diego mm -hmm. Bay Area in San Diego and and, and and you get to come back home and are you an artist yourself a little bit were you doing artist a, things away from uh, in Mariposa? another life I did a lot of photography and worked at museums so yeah Cool. Now, when, when you took over, are you the one that started doing all these cool things, like the art hops and the, the music on the green, or were those already going? I was so fortunate to come into an established arts council with all sorts of wonderful programs. I've built out a few new programs, but for the most part, I just got to take over some really solid programs. Cool. Well, let's, t let's talk about the ones that you came up with. Oh, <laughs> well, it's a photography program. So we do an F-stop program for seniors, people 55 and over. It's a photography program, and we recently had an exhibition in our gallery. Um, Is Bob in that? Because I know he he has a camera, you know. I haven't seen Bob in the F-stop program, no. <laughs> no. He qualifies, though. I know, I know that. I don't know. Are you 55 or what? Okay, so you started the photography program. What yeah. else? Well, when I first arrived, our gallery had recently burned down. With um, There was a big fire in Mariposa. Was it, was it with the pizza factory one? Yes. yes. Okay. So one of my first tasks was to get the gallery up and running again. We um, represent about 50 local visual artists, and so getting that back up to speed and off the ground was one of my first tasks. And I feel kind of proud that that is successfully going. Now, is that the one that's on the corner of 6th and 140? It's on the corner of, not 6th, no. no, no. That's, Am I close? That's near, you're, you're about two, two blocks, blocks away. Okay, well, yeah. not We're bad little, for an out-of-town guy. No, no, not at all. No. You're a little soft. This is the Treetop Gallery, which is the Arts Council's gallery. This is so. the red and white one? Yes. Oh my gosh, when you guys go to Mariposa, you have got to see this. It's so cute. What, 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 what was that originally? Well, it was an old house that the one of our old famous sheriffs grew up in it. So it's been it around a like long time. It looks like Chitty Bang Bang or something. Yeah, it's super cute, yeah. yeah so, and so you turned that into the, the new office and headquarters. That's right, we have the whole upstairs. So we have offices, studio for after school art classes, and then a gallery up there. Cool. Yeah. So what did you two come together for? What do you, what's going on in Mariposa? Well, I thought it would be a, a good idea. So we've talked a lot about CARA's programs at the council programs. But you know the um, the overall benefit of an arts program, and, and and art is kind of an abstract 
thing. Uh, when people come into our business, they see all the art around there, and it makes them feel at home. And, uh, and I guess what I was thinking about on the drive down here today was the economic impact and benefits of art. And not just from the standpoint of, of it making you feel comfortable in your home, but uh, in Mariposa County, art and culture are uh, big attractions. They are as big attractions as is Yosemite. And, uh, you know, the activities that we have uh, in our community, there is not any other community that I can think of in the Sierras or in the Valley that has this intense of cultural resources and, and programming going and on. And consistent. Because right. you guys have something going every single weekend. Yes, and it's not just simply a tourist attraction. We're not doing this, although tourists are invited, a bit, uh, you know, it's part of our hospitality routine. But the uh, reality is that uh, the cultural programs are, were originally instilled in the community for the benefit of the residents of the community, okay? And uh, it just so happens that uh, there are people visiting, they get to enjoy that. But the overall economic value of these programs for our children, for the visitors to our community. And, and Kara has, been do has a, a lot of numbers. I don't, I'll put her <laughs> on the spot. No, I have numbers. It is an, our, isn't an abstract thing. It really does drive our economy. One in every ten jobs in California is in the creative industries. Wow. Yeah. One art. out of every ten. So okay. that's one out of every ten kid farming. will be. Yeah. Well, with me and you in the room, that's one out of every eight. <laughs> in California, it it generates I think two hundred and seventy five billion dollars wow. every year. That's it's awesome. seven point eight percent of our state's general um, domestic product. In uh, Mariposa, the Arts Council supports about two hundred and seventy five artists. Wow. And every time a person goes to see an uh, artistic performance or event. They pump $24.60 back into the local economy. So since we serve about 12,500 people a year through our programs, we're pumping about $300,000 back into Mariposa's local economy. So very, very, so art isn't very, so very abstract. Cool. Yeah. And very, very nice to hear. You yeah. Know? Yeah. There, yeah, there's there's a definite economic benefit to being an, an art art-focused community to have an art-focused population. Okay, well, we're There's a demographic here that's really startling, and the first time I heard it, I didn't believe it, but I've been able to document it. On a per capita basis, that means the number of people per the 17,000 or so people that live in Mariposa County, on a per capita basis, we have the highest concentration of, of people who make a living from art of any place in the United States, okay? We, you know, when you think of Carmel, when you think of uh, Los Angeles, but the reality is Mariposa, per capita wise, has the highest concentration of professional artists uh, in the country. And, Good thing uh, you can live off the land up there. <laughs> <laughs> well, th there is uh, something about starving artists. Now, we have some pictures here that I want to show before we run out of, out of time. So, Billy, if you can get those rolling through, and Kara can tell us a little bit about them. Yeah, so this is a picture of our treetop gallery, and this summer we're pretty fortunate because for the first time we're bringing in an exhibition of a really established Bay Area artist. He, um, his name is Joe Mora, and he, um, I think he lived between 1876 and 1947, and in, in 1904 he took a trip to Yosemite, and we have all his original sketches from his notebook. You'll see one there. Amazing. Of Mirror Lake, so we have those. He's famous for, the, that's Joe Moore and his Is friend Honey. Is that him Honey. right yeah, there? He was, that's him in Yosemite um, traveling through. And he is very famous for doing these very whimsical, funny carts or their maps. So he did one of Yosemite you see there. If you come to our gallery, you'll see a first edition printing of it. And they're hilarious. So on Cloud's Rest, there's a cloud lounging on a Barker lounger and a lady looking at herself in Mirror Lake. Very funny, whimsical drawings. But Mora was also known, very established as a sculptor. He did the memorial cenotaph for Hinepro Serra, which you're seeing there, with, um, and that's in Carmel. So right. we are the Carmel of the Sierras. This is a sculpture that he did that's um, on a building in LA. So very, he's very drawn to the western frontier. Um, so yeah, we're very fortunate to have his work in the gallery very this cool. summer. And it's very cool for our local artists to be shown alongside of a very established What, what are the artist. hours at the art gallery? Can people just pop in? Yeah. We are open seven days a week between 10 and 
5 o'clock. During the weekdays, we open at 9, so you can come a little earlier. So Excellent. Any day. Well, well we're, we're running out of time here, but I know that we got that music on the green happening this weekend. Yes, Who's we playing? Do. Well, we have, do we have a couple of pictures? Yeah, Friday do. night is the Skylights. They're kind of an alternative band out of Merced. The Skylights. The Skylights. They'll start at 7. And this is the horse's Mac. Um, they're out of San Francisco, but they're, the drummer is a local boy, Sky Harris, and they recently opened up for Metallica at the Warfield. So, horse's Mac, are we looking at a little bit of metal in the park? I think so, yeah. How exciting is that? All right, well, you know, I'll be up in Mariposa this weekend. I'm going to a really cool, I'm going to a wedding at the Bug Hostel. So, Jen Criswell and Sweetwater Escola, I'll see you up there. I'll see you up up there too my friend yes we Karen, have a beer and i'll bring the kids by to the art gallery for sure sounds good all right we're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back on the bus